All right, check it out. Believe it or not, I'm still working on the camper. And so today's adventure involves more of the uh, gluing and screwing of the edges. And so I got this one kind of ready. It looks like I got to do the sides first and then the top so that it kind of overlaps and helps waterproof it. And uh, anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it outside because it makes a giant mess and I don't want to mess up everything in the shop. So might as well do it outside. The weather's nice. And look, there's Justin over there working on his stuff. Hello. Hi. Tripod? That sounds way safer than what I'm doing. watching me screw up a lot, so I must be doing the thing. It's gonna work, dang it. What's up, dog? Hey, dog. Look, it's Rhubarb. He's our neighborhood dog. He comes and hangs out sometimes. You know what I was thinking about when I was over there? What's that? I have a jack that you can put right there. Jack? You just need that round piece that you weld on the frame. Oh, one of those things. That'd be cool. I've got two of them. Dang. One for each side. It's going to have to be tall, tall jack. Well, it's actually going better than average. Were you having trouble with it before? Um, it's not easy. It seems easy. It's not easy. Ah. Let's see here. We'll get it from this angle. Or here, you can hold it from down there. Watch me. Look at those airplanes, people. Oh. oh. I can't have nice things, Sean. That's why I'm doing the camera, too. I was but looking yeah, at. I've been gluing or caulking or whatever you call this stuff, lap sealing between the metal of the frame and the aluminum because I had a lot of people mention that there is some kind of a reaction that happens between steel and aluminum and causes it to corrode. They made me nervous, so now I'm doing this. You're still doing it wrong. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I'm familiar with that. I'm just kidding. Right there, right there. And they do have rubber washers on it. It's rubberized. This is the stuff he's using. And you used this on the front too, didn't you? Yeah, this yeah, stuff right here. Yeah, that whole part right there. That's 
when you and your dad was doing working on it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna work. Gosh darn it. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, he's a body man now. Yeah. That's what I'm known for. <laughs> Straining panels. Uh, what'd you do on your buggy today? Got the oil leak fixed, I hope. All right. I hope, I hope. That's a good thing to have happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Less leaking is a good thing. Less leaking. Keeping all the oil in the motor. What's that? Keeping all the oil in the motor is my goal yours is keeping all the water out of here right yeah we are doing we are on two different missions but both <laughs> involve sealing yeah i should really wear sunglasses or something you pass me by maybe my some glasses, they're right there on that tire maybe some of these uh safety glasses safety wear there you go thanks sir Yes, sir. Look at that. Here. She is Look rock solid. Look at that, people. Look, Look at that fine work. So I got a trim piece. That's why I'm putting these screws down low. There's a trim piece that's going to go right there. And then I'm going to put a bunch more of that sealant stuff, the lap seal, all around it top bottom side to side it's gonna be a big drippy mess you guys are gonna love it but yeah here we go Look, Mike got a package. I got a package. Let's go see. It's from uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. All right. Mike and Sean, you can never have too many safety glasses and gloves. And he oh, did right. He is correcto. Look at this. We got some fresh safety glasses. Yeah. But wait, there's more. There's more. And gloves. We got two pair of gloves. Nice. Heck yeah. Ooh, these are nice. This is real nice. Ooh, they're even padded. Are they? Yeah, I feel it. It's squishy. Oh yeah. Look how fast I am now. Way fast. Look at that. Dang. He's got 10% faster. Maybe 11. Maybe 11. <laughs> <laughs> See? Almost pulled that bumper off the buggy. Yeah. Dude, these are awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, Thomas. Thomas, thank, thank you. you. We That's appreciate really cool. It. We really need glasses. And gloves. 
I was gonna work on my camper outside so I didn't make a mess in here because that caulking just falls on the floor and makes a giant mess and yeah. I don't really want to deal with that. But I think I'm gonna have to because it's it's literally snowing outside. Snowing. And it's April. This is, Believe that? Yeah, I it's do. Crazy. I've seen it snow in May here. Last year. It happens like almost every year. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. But uh anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna go find my camper and drag it in here, I guess. So yeah, I was gonna go wheel in and then I think it got cancelled because the weather. So for luck thug, all that hard work I did last night. It needed to be done, but I didn't need it to rush on it. So anyway. Yeah, it's ready for the next adventure, whatever that may be. I'm never going into your steer again. Shut up. <laughs> Why and you know it. I gotta fix my rear links. I gotta put that, put another uh, transfer case in it. And I gotta do a lot more things before I go into rear steer again. Dude, these are nice glasses. I did weld my front end all the way up now. Oh it's yeah? Solid. About dang time. About dang time. It's a real walker now. So yeah, here we go. I was working on this thing and uh, getting it back, getting back on it, ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen, or whoever watches this. I am, oh, I almost sat on that. So, <clears throat> spot weld all the way around on this back and forth and so it doesn't warp it I guess it warps uh well I got that far from from here to here so now I'll finish this out right here I gotta try to fix like it's kind of low there you want to feel it when you put when you're welding it together Make sure your thumb doesn't get caught, or your, like your skin. Like right there, see? It stops. Right here? No problem. And that's where it's not welded. So I'll weld that. Come down here. Try to fix this out. This is kind of hard because it has all that dents in it right there. So I'll do my best on lining these two panels up down here on the bottom. And it might just be have to be that and then just fill it with some body feeler. Every show car out there has body feeler on it. It's got to, I would assume. So I'm going to go through, weld it up. I started grinding it down a little bit. Um, I need to learn how to do that. I'm learning. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Mike's here working on the camper. Yay! We finally get camper video and 65 video. <laughs> We've been busy. It's been good weather. We've been wheeling. Yeah, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. We've been doing a bunch of outdoor stuff, and now it's like, weather's crap. I guess we'll come inside. I guess we'll come inside and not have a wheeling video this week. Yeah. Maybe we will. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow. I think tomorrow. We're going wheeling. Oh tomorrow. yeah, tomorrow we're going wheeling. We got surprise for you guys. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm working on 65. Mike's on the on the camper over there. We ne we came up with a name. I came up with um, Fiesta, and Mike likes the, the Probe. Probe Fiesta. Yeah, Probe Fiesta. So we put them together, and that's what we came up with. Yeah. So if you guys don't it's remember. It's basically a Ford car. Because <laughs> Mike <laughs> likes Ford, secretly loves them. Like his F-150. Yeah. It's the best truck out there, by far. It's the most reliable thing I've ever owned. Hey, 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 yeah, dude. Which doesn't say much, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot. He's beat the crap out of that truck, and I've seen it down dirt roads every day of its life until yeah. two years ago, or a year ago, or six months ago. No, it was like three months ago you moved to Moab, didn't you? I mean, I've moved a lot of places. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, I think it's a good name. What do you guys think? Is that a good name? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. If you know the game, there's a game. If you know about it, you'll Leave it understand. In the comment. Leave it in the comment what do you think yeah. the game is. I think we mentioned it once or twice on the channel. I don't know. I think we did. I don't know. Maybe we didn't. But anyway, it's pretty funny. We'll tell you guys in a couple weeks. Yeah. 
Uh, Mike's trying to get it somewhat together so we can go test test yeah. run it. I'm trying so. to get it ready enough for a test drive. Yeah. And then we can go for a test drive and that'll be fun. Man. But it's still a long way from that. I'm doing the part that I despise. Gluing. Gluing and screwing. screwing. <laughs> it's, it's unfun. It's dirty, messy, garbage work. Yeah. You want to show them your sign? No, because it's at home. Oh, man. Yeah. I got Sweet. a cool wooden sign. And I'll show it to you guys sometime soon. Sometime soon soon. It's cool. You'll yeah, like it. It's legit, yeah. So, yeah, that's all we're doing today. It's Saturday. Yay for Saturday. Yay, Saturday. <laughs> I guess that's how you do it. I don't know. What do you think? How's that look? And then, and then I'll go through with the, the grinder and hit that down. Not a grind. Well, I guess a big grinder. I got this thing. Then I'll go through and hit all these. Okay. Yeah, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with it. So yeah, stay tuned. Much better. <clears throat> Still kind of high. I gotta take it down like how this one is right here. Put more up here. Whatever. That works. Dang. Sorry. Like this mic. What's up? Hi, the mic. Check it out. I got a new GoPro stick thingy. Uh -huh. Woo! And it's a tripod. Fancy. It's very fancy. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's all I got. Mike's getting real fancy. It's super got fancy. Real nice. This tripod. thing was like 20 some odd bucks. Yeah. The best GoPro stick thing around. We'll find out. Can I give you my secret? What's that? If you put that the other way and your thing is on this side. Yeah. You can take your your thing loose, your battery, and charge the cord without oh. taking it all the way apart. That's what I do with mine. You mean just just plug it in? Oh, look, you can unplug your mine. Couldn't do that. Oh, tricky! Yeah. Dang, even better. Look even at that. Even better. So we look at the range on this thing. <laughs> yeah, all the shots for you guys now. Yeah. Mike's upgrading. He's. He's bad and bad pajama now. Very what do you think about this? Dude, it's one piece. It's one piece from there to there. I think you're gonna need some fill. Oh yeah, lots of it. Bondo. Bondo. Yeah, there's a big crease right there. 
then it's all wrinkled here so it's like it's gonna need a lot of love good thing I ain't no so show truck except for when you take it to that show which one car show oh it won't go in the car show it'll be in the parking lot because I'll be driving it to the car show sweet that's how be cool I'll be Heck just yeah. kidding well if you're in Moab this thing should be out on Main Street somewhere all right like parked on the side show? Of, isn't it like next weekend though? like parked on the side of the road somewhere no it's like three four weeks away Is three it? weeks away the end I think of this it's closer month. than you think the end of this month okay that's cool. The last Saturday of October or uh, April is usually car show. Well, but so we, if anything, it'll be on a flatbed going down there and then park on the side of the highway so people can check it out. I don't know where I'm gonna park it yet. I don't even know if we're gonna be sitting on Main Street, are we? I don't know. Are you? No. I am. I, I'm not a big fan of car show. Yeah. I like well, doing stuff, not looking at stuff. Well, I'll be there. So if you guys want to see me, I'll be on Main Street somewhere. I'll probably be with Hector and them, maybe. I don't oh, know. Yeah, Hector will be here. That's yeah, right. Hector will be here. And then I'll go hang out with them. So if you want to see this thing, come swing by on Main Street. Don't know where we're going to sit. I got to get a hold of Hector first. So he can show his work off. <laughs> Yes, dude. I'm guessing he'll probably have some of his cars here, though. So, Hector, if you're watching, leave a comment. Let them know where you're going to be so we can let people see some stuff. Yeah. Mike won't be there. He'll go do some cooler stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, it'll be fun. Huh? Oh, come on, Magnet. Anyway. <coughs> so... I have a big gap over here on top and I found some welding rod just like this for stick rod so you beat the the coating off of it and tack it in there pack then just weld you'll fill that gap in and weld 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 then I'll do the same thing here and same thing here. And just tack, tack, tack all the way down. And it should be good. We will find out. I'll show you the end product. There it is. Got the gap filled in. That one's done now. Except for down there, I gotta do the same thing, fill in a gap down there and then this side's done well I guess there's a hole right there and right there so I'll tack those in grind them down and I'll move on to the front the front should be pretty easy it's not complicated as that one should be just weld in theory <laughs> but anyway how's that look I'm gonna fix this one. <coughs> Let me show you how you got how I did this. Just show it in there, pack it. And then right about here. Maybe do this enough times. Do that. Do this with the hammer. Oh 
Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. Dang. It's all one piece right here. That's cool. One piece. The body feeler. Body feeler. Good for my first time. How about you? You win? Not yet, but I'm getting there. So after you do that, I guess just hit it with the grinder. Anyway, sorry, that's how it's done. That's how I've been doing it. That's how I've been doing it. I don't know if there's any other way. But yeah, here we go. Look at that. Fully well there. This side of the bed anyway. I'm tired, I'm hungry. So yeah, and then I'll start on this side. Soon. And this one. Whoop. And after that's all done, figure out how to mount it. Oh, I guess I got to do these in here too. Big old gap cases hole in there. Fit my whole hand in there. This one and that one, and I got to figure out how to do runners in there. Angle iron, and then after that, I can... Figure out how to mount the bed to the frame. Probably just go straight through the bed with bolt. And then after that's done, I could start on the cab again. So yeah, slowly moving along. I'm hoping I could keep on working on this thing. <laughs> but the weather has been nice, so I want to go wheeling instead. So don't be mad at me. Oh, Mikey. What's that? I said, don't be mad. Yeah, don't be mad. Or do whatever you want. Or do whatever you want. Don't be mad. Yeah, 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 don't be mad.